live what is going on it is your boy kevin ye doing the weekly or daily stream until i think tomorrow uh might consider doing it a little longer as well but um pretty cr actually not tomorrow till the end of the month um but i was actually doing a bit of research and you know yesterday i covered this story a little bit but recently let me open the screen so that you guys can see if you guys are watching this um i've been really covering kind of like the groundbreaking stuff that's been happening in pharmacy really going through um the untold side of pharmacists i guess uh and also i've been doing some a bit of training on like hey you know remote income and all that but i this really concerns me and i kind of wanted to open up the discussion um first of all are pharmacies getting ppe um, and if you guys are working in a pharmacy, please let me know. If you don't know what, uh, PPE stands, for, I don't even know what PPE stands for. Is it personal protective equipment or something like that? Anyways, um, it's basically, uh, protective equipment for, uh, pharmacies and whatnot. And, uh, what's been happening a lot is, uh, I've been lurking on the Reddit forums and people have been saying that, you know, there hasn't been a lot of, uh, there hasn't been they're not receiving any PPE and they're just, they're just still practicing pharmacy, which is a huge danger. Right. And I, rather than just like bitch and moan and just like be like, Hey, we need more awareness. I'm very curious about, you know, is this really happening? And second thing, if it is happening, why, why are we letting this happening? Is it a sourcing issue? What is happening? I'm just going uh, on like that. Uh, Brad Smith says, sup homie. Jayhawk says, hi, Kevin. Hey, what up, Jayhawk? Coronavirus is a blessing for people to be more prepared to have survival skills, multiple streams of income, online income, and backup plans. I would I would agree, um, but you know what? Here, here's the truth, Brad. No matter how prepared you are, no one could have expected something like this. Um, just really, I think, if anything, it's made me a lot more grateful that I have a remote income as well. And by the way, guys, if you can smash that like button just so that this this particular issue gets addressed. I hope, you know, um, I hope it brings up some more more awareness or uh, the urgency of of making sure that our pharmacists are are protected as well. Not only pharmacists, pharmacy staff, which leads me to my first thing, man. Um, this has been trending in the, the Reddit forums right now. Uh, 24. Five year old, I covered it yesterday, but 25 year old pharmacy technician dies from coronavirus in Riverside County. No underlying health conditions re reported, right? Um, and here's the thing uh, we can always like, here's an important thing when reading articles like, hey, a lot of news articles want you to click because of headlines and whatnot. So, we at the same time, we don't know if this was if this um, pharmacy technician contracted at the pharmacy. We don't know if uh, it was outside the pharmacy. There's no information about that. So keep that in mind in the back of your head. But still, if this person had had COVID-19, wasn't wearing any um, and and was giving it to their patients, is that the best idea right now? A lot of fast food joints, a lot of these restaurants, they're doing curbside delivery. Wouldn't it make sense for a lot of pharmacists to do that as well, to reduce the uh actual need for a lot of the the ppe and all that and uh all that as well so it's really interesting um let's see but basically if i were to cover the story really quick basically they were found in self-quarantine from what i last saw had no underlying health issues um and this person was found um uh dead when he died in la quinta which isn't that far far away from us over here right so um just really interesting stuff uh tsh, tsh. the only ppe now are pills 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 as armor gross ppe personal protective equipment that's what i thought uh, i was at costco earlier today and still people are stocking up on toilet paper and towels can't expect a crisis but this crisis has exposed that most people in society do not have basic survival skills or backup plans uh, yeah i i agree we should um which do you have more for pharmacists or respect for i don't think that really it's not a question of respect to be honest with you they all play a crucial part 
of the healthcare system. So, I mean, in terms of respect, I mean, I feel like nurses are probably more respected than pharmacists at this point. I have no idea. Well, especially in in, in pandemics like this, pharmacists have been uh, are being overlooked and whatnot as well. So, just really interesting stuff uh, as well. So there's that. Uh, so, you know, in response to kind of like the, what's happening in, in response of what's happening in the Reddit as well, um, people, people are responding with a lot of different things. God, this is so sad. We need better equipment as technicians. Uh, but many healthcare workers are dying and this is hard to believe that this is happening. And it's really scary because a lot of my friends, I went to school with a lot of the our healthcare workers and stuff. Some of these people are my in, were my former interns and whatnot as well, and so it's really concerning. Like knowing that this person had no health underlying health um, conditions, but still died from COVID, right? So um, it's and I'm reading comments like these. I was just telling my husband last night where I'd hate to have to quit my job because they won't protect us, but. If that's what it takes, we have no PPE, have close customer contact. We don't have a drive through, but they were finally talking today. If they close the inside and do curbside pickup only, it would be a pain, but still be me. Uh, they aren't in the store. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, is it worth 500 bucks to, is it really worth 500 bucks? Like I know CVS is giving 500 bucks and, um, a child, a child, a, like child, uh, care and all that sort of stuff. But if it's your life, is it really worth 500 bucks in this extra comp like this compensation? I know there's two weeks week pay and what, uh, uh, two weeks pay and whatnot. Um, but are, are pharmacists being given the, or pharmacy staff being given PPE? And it's really conflicting because I was actually doing some, um, research on CVS, uh, CVS health, uh, just looking at their, their, um, their plan because you know um you know it's just uh really interesting i think there was like something about ppe in here yes uh to ensure the safety of people taking the test personal personnel will be conducting the test using ppe which will be refreshed in accordance established by the federal government um which really concerns me right now because i'm reading a lot of stories right now where that's the complete opposite. I don't know if you guys have opinions on like what's happening on the front lines is your, if you are working in pharmacy, are you guys getting PPE and all that uh, as well? Like, and it, it made me think, I was like, huh, right now there's a short, like people are saying there's a shortage. Uh, is this actually true? And what some, as I was reading more and more articles, they're saying that um, they're prioritizing it toward more uh, hospitals and all that, but we're not protecting our pharmacies, which is really tough because guess what? Where do you think your your patients are going after they get discharged from the hospital or if there's anything uh, happen like the everyday patients? Guess what? They're all congregating within the pharmacy by, by, not, by leaving them open and ex potentially exposing more people to COVID-19. So there's a real issue here and it's, it saddens me to say is like a lot of the management so far based off the response isn't really still really provide, um, making a significant changes to protect not only the healthcare workers, but their actual patients who they swore, they said that they're protecting as well. So it's just really interesting. Who knows? Maybe things that are changing, maybe I have the facts wrong, but that's why I, I'm just curious about what's happening on the ground floors. Right. Um, Owen Cook says gets by on four hours of sleep, but he said he'll never get low sleep or eat junk food ever again. Uh, now, because of vi coronavirus, hey, I'm off today. Finally see alive. What's up, taste and travel? Uh, we get PPE, but we got to reuse mask Q24. So every 24 hours because of shortage and impatient, by the way. My observation is that pharmacy chains are working hard to make uh, to make their employees comfortable with no PPE as PP is not available, huh? That's, yeah, so it's really a supplier issue, I guess, right? So, but, uh, man, let me ask you guys, who those who are working in the pharmacy, um, is there, are they making any protocol changes where they're leaving the store still open? Are they doing curbside and all that? 
like what is really happening um have they made any changes in the processes going on as well that's that's something i'm really interested in um by the way this came out on my birthday 318 but basically uh there was there was an article not too long ago so about two weeks maybe about two weeks ago um pharmacists concerned lack of uh, ppe hand sanitizers for covid19 um people are sharing the stories on the pharmacy pharmacy times facebook page which maybe i'll take a look at in a bit um hold on for a second i'll i'll take a look at that web at the facebook page in a second but uh kroger pharmacy says that there's a shortage of some some products including hand sanitizer face masks Tylenol, Zycam, all these regular things uh Kroger's opened up more hours for technicians, allowing them work as much as they want. But others concern, others commented about the lack of person, uh, personal protective equipment for employees, that, saying that they're struggling to keep up with the demands of testing without necessary equipment. Some stores that said that they've had limited number of vitamins, blah blah blah, inability inability to obtain prod, products from wholesalers uh, that can be compared to a drug shortage. Wow, that's really interesting. So it's really a sourcing issue from what from what I thought it was as well. But um, you know, I hate to say it, man. We we might need to alter our services or we might have to consider that we can't provide all these services that are being asked of us if we're not protecting our personnel, right? We need to make sure that people are just staying home and while while supply chain can keep up with like the PPE because we're we're risking not we're not only risking our healthcare professionals we're risking uh sharing the uh spreading the um spreading covid-19 as well right and by the way make sure to um it's really important guys if you guys like this really makes a huge difference if you guys could hit the like button or engage somehow uh the more engagement the better because that's how the youtube algorithm picks up on and spreads the thing so if you guys could hit the like button man maybe it'll get more press as well all right um all right cool so um just got this message from a friend this is a legit deal i'm looking at government contract right now to source uh n95 uh 3m mass for them they're looking to for four million units two billion dollar transaction uh we doing this kev haha <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a lot of uh, my friends who who say that they have some sort of sourcing for these masks, and um, I guess like people are just jacking up the prices too. Like, of course, there's always resellers in the market, um, but uh, it's really interesting. I want to see like so I I, I want to start like other than bitching about it. <laughs> to be honest, like I feel like sometimes I'm just bitching about it, but I want to. I'm thinking about spearheading something where we can i can probably talk to the right people who have the sourcing and whatnot coordinating a project doing some sort of crowd crowdsourcing as well to kind of fund it because obviously i don't have two billion dollars as well i don't think anybody will really but if the more we can fund this project the better as well because it will protect but this is really the responsibility of a lot of um of a lot of corporate companies as well because guess what people like myself who are who want to kind of crowdsource something or whatnot we're not making a profit right it's it's really these uh corporate companies and they have to make the decision whether they can continue operations uh while protecting their people Th this is what i mean this is like we're still continue pro provides services right open door services doesn't mean that we can't provide closed door services as well but uh and still continue our scope of practice about uh with providing medications whether it's delivery or something it's a process issue right and then and then like we, we having people having people come in wait in the pharmacy and all that it's just it just seems really efficient inefficient i mean i went to my local um walmart the other day too and I was looking at the pharmacist and there's so many people congregated all together. I was like, this is such a freaking bad idea. Why, why do we, why are we doing this guys? So it just has me thinking like even in the Costco lines right now, if you go into any sort of store, there's like a barrier separation of, Hey, you need to be X amount of feet away. But literally I saw the, all these pharmacists, like all these patients all in one room. I was like, um, 
this probably is not a good idea. No PPE for the pharmacists as well. So I have been going around to different pharmacies, uh, just like to local Target and stuff like that. I haven't been to a CVS pharmacy or anything like that, but you know, um, that's what I'm seeing on the front lines too. So, dude, they're letting people out of jail so they can social distance, but are threatening to arrest people for not social distancing. Uh, dis dis distancing make logic makes no sense we have a drive through in the parking lot <clears throat> basement of the hospital for covid tests okay interesting yeah no pp in my farm right now curbside and mail order just announced for us so it's time uh, so it's so time consuming we're not made for it sneeze guards coming based on high risk area my friend got it store got it and i do realize too like a lot of these pharmacies like to make nationwide changes is not an easy thing we can't assume like hey tomorrow it's going to be done because I, let me google this um store number of stores for cvs so i did a quick google search there's over almost in 2018 there was about almost 10,000 10,000 uh, cvs stores probably a lot more now uh now that's two thousand two years later walgreens has a very similar amount right aid a lot less costco even less right um so any changes that they're going to make is not going to be overnight but um there has to be i hope this this kind of sparks up the um sparks up the discussion about our is our health care system really can it handle this extra volume can it handle this extra um can it handle this extra uh, volume of people and whatnot? It definitely doesn't work. What's interesting, my friend was also telling me, my really close friend was also telling me that the government actually paid money. Um, and I, I wish I could find this study. Maybe I'll present it tomorrow or something like that, where the government paid money to stress test the um, stress test the health uh, system. And the results said that they like we could not we we had to have more infrastructure and in, in order to support um uh uh health like a pandemic or epidemic like this right so the government knew they paid money for the study and did nothing like from what my friend told me i'll look for the study and uh and try to do more research on that but it's just it's just really interesting to see like how you know, obviously hindsight's always twenty twenty. We gotta remember that, right? There's always confirmation bias and all that as well. But it's just really interesting that our government paid money and we're knowingly knew that we could not handle a catastrophe like this, right? So interesting stuff. And I, I really want to bring up the point too of how many more healthcare professionals need to get hurt. How many more healthcare professionals need to need to die honestly it's it's really sad to say but how many more pharmacists need to die before this actually before people taking it seriously right it's it's really it's it's a horrible time i guess right it's hard for everyone but i understand i'm more scared jay hawk says i'm more scared of what co-workers are spreading versus the patients we have six people working in a small one small space if we one gets it we all get it Walgreens was careful with the wording they, they the video they showed us uh, to reduce fear kept discrediting crediting the use of surgical masks. The video did not mention anything about N95 masks, which are different. Yes. Um, oh, shit. I forgot to share. it. Yeah, it's 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 totally true because surgical masks are just like a physical barrier. I mean, you got to think you got to remind yourself that. Viruses are really, really small. They'll go right through that shit, right? Obviously, if there's any respiratory droplets or anything like that, that's, I mean, that's what a surgical mask can block against. So when I see a lot of people out on the street with all these face masks and stuff, unless it's an N95 mask, you're not protect, you're not doing jack shit. And I can only imagine right now that, um, I can only imagine right now, like, by not protecting our that's what i'm talking about like by not protecting our healthcare professionals like or um pharmacy staff um you're right you're totally right uh jayhawk you could be spreading it everywhere so uh what would you do if you're still a pharmacist oh boy um i was thinking about that the other day actually good question Seton. i was thinking about like yeah i mean 
could could walk we could walk away and strike and just be like no we're not working um we're not working pharmacy uh because we're not being protected but at the same time there's a lot of patients that still need their medications and all that but at the end of the day there it's going to come it's going to come down to two things i mean i was reading on reddit like people were were considering leaving their jobs because they're not they don't feel protected. This is definitely probably against like OSHA and whatnot. I assume, right? Um, but people don't give a fuck right now because we're in a state of panic as well. So just really interesting. Um, let's see. Uh, and it's like responses like these two sets in, where it's just like local CVS still open after pharmacy employee tested COVID nineteen positive. Um the 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 pharmacy was clean last night during close right employees in contact with infected employee were not quarantined and are still working employee uh employee quarantined since 320 tested positive stores remained open no quarantining of employees or deep uh quarantining of the store wow that is horrible also contact osha heard of fellow pharmacists uh asking state boards what happens to do what happens uh, if a staff member is tested positive, but they answer along lines that we'll get back to you. So they're just kicking it back. I mean, it's it's hard too because um, these state boards and whatnot, I mean, you're asking for, I don't know, like it, it, they're probably panicking right now. It's hard to get a really great answer from any, any officials, right? So uh, Brian says, kind of sad. Some healthcare folks are, afraid about speaking out about lack of pp at work because a lot of examples of them are getting reprimanded well you know at the that's why i kind of created this channel is because dude you can crucify me all you want but i'm going to be the one talking about it because i have no financial ties i am actually a stockholder of cvs2 assholes and your stock isn't doing that well and you're not protecting your people no just kidding um but you know it, like at the end of the day like this is something that is important and the more that people know, the better. I don't really know the next steps to really acquire funding and all that as well uh, for PPE and stuff. These companies need to provide that. Essentially, if you're making a profit, it's your responsibility. If you have employees, I mean, obviously, obviously if you had um, uh, contractors and whatnot, you could just punt, it, punt the expenses off to them, right? But you don't you have employees you have to take care of them unfortunately there's a lot of uh especially we're pri providing we're high risk uh we're providing a high pretty high risk service at this point especially if it's face to face i mean i believe there needs to be some system processy changes where there's less exposure you can't eliminate everything maybe i get it right but at the same time you need to have these infrastructures in place because guess what's going to happen somebody's going to fucking sue you anyways so you're going to pay at pay for it one way or the other right but uh, who knows i mean i never assume ill intent behind corporations and all that um they're just really focused on different things maybe i don't know i don't know if the profit margins aren't high enough or anything like that um cool uh any experience with facing discrimination as an asian due to coronavirus seems like it's overblown honestly <clears throat> I have not seen too much uh, discrimination personally, but here's the truth, man. I'm in a majority Asian area, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be the last person that's gonna see something like that, right? Um, I got invited to a Facebook group about Facebook, like about people discriminating. I mean, there's let's be honest. There's a lot of retarded people everywhere, man. There's dumb people everywhere, and so um, uh. <sighs> I mean, you can't really, you can't really argue with ignorance, right? And um, the only thing that you can do is hold them accountable and just, um, it's not even worth the time to argue with these fuckers. But I, un I understand, you know, like, honestly, if you, if you publicize a lot of these comments too, it's just like laughable half the time, man. I don't know. Uh, I read a lot of the, like one, 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 uh, comment that I read was like, oh, go back to China and all this sort of shit. And I'm like, fuck you guys. Like, um, my family is probably more American, like <laughs> if not the same, more American than your family. Cause my, my, my family's been here for a long ass time. We fought against the Axis forces. 
my my family also um served during vietnam and all that everyone on my dad's side and stuff like that we've been in the country for a long time so how dare you say something like that that's really insulting right um it's just like people don't realize there's a difference between the chinese people the um who are living in china the ccp the government who uh controls who controls china chinese americans or chinese people outside of china very different right there's a different culture but between everything there's even a difference in like mainland china and um uh, and uh uh and like like hong kong people there's a huge difference between between that there's a lot of salties and we're not even talking about different asian types of asians too right we're only talking about chinese people so it's really interesting um how are sales uh on the on them high ticket hazmat suits uh sales have been actually pretty good it's actually really bro booming um syed i'm banning your ass you're being a little bitch right now so <laughs> um let's see i am going to open this shit up i need a moderator bro i think uh like you know we get all these like bitches in here and dan Pena would be would call you a fucking cunt by the way so just letting you know um let's see let's see let's go in the chat um let's keep on going down how are sales uh store near me has a case uh has a case to then reopen uh what do you do now as being a pharmacist is dangerous um let's ban i'm going to ban you uh report first i'm going to report you for spam second thing second thing i'm going to go to your channel block your ass uh hide user on channel and i'm going to block you so there we go done <laughs> easy easy peasy block user great cool done <sighs> okay cool i wish uh youtube would do something about like spam comments and stuff too really interesting uh but you're asking what i do right now um have you seen any incident being shot yeah it's pretty interesting right now like right now is a very interesting time to be a pharmacist because it's considered a lot higher risk you're seeing a lot more cr crazy people there's been um there's been talk of pharmacists fearing being robbed too at this time um so it's not a i i have like what i do now is actually completely pharmacy unrelated brian can actually attest to that as well i've taught him what i do that's why i believe having a remote income is so important because it um having a remote income like provides you options right if shit like this happens then then you don't really need to worry as much about it as well right um how much did you get paid the first one in two years as a pharmacist says uh robert uh it really doesn't matter now to be honest with you right um i was getting paid about 130k i think like the first two years i think something around there 65 dollars an hour i think that was my contract maybe i'm not sure if i'm allowed to show it but i probably i probably can but pharmacy pay we covered it the other day is going a lot lower it's sub like some in some places like ohio that's what um dr lee was saying was that uh it's anywhere from 97 to 70k per year and think about it you paid at least um sometimes you pay over 200k plus for a degree like that is it worth the roi on that and i hate to say it we gotta we gotta think about like um we gotta think about how to um we gotta think about how to price oh shit like whether this is going to be a roi or something like that as well so Setson says he's down to mod uh make me moderator i'll do it for five thousand dollars paypal now bro um yeah Setson, let's uh actually brian let's make you a mod first i don't know if you're still here um and who else can be a mod Setson, i'll make you a mod you're the, you're the og 
appreciate if you could protect the channel, bro. So thanks, man. Um, great. So, uh, Doctor, you lay down the rules. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, that's a part of YouTube, man. Like people, people are like little bitches sometimes, man. They're just like, oh, I want this, I want that. But like, dude, why the fuck am I going to talk about QLA when this is a really important issue, right? I don't want to detract, right? So, okay. Anyways, back to back to everything. Brian says I'm here. Okay. Walgreens 56 to 58. By the way, 56, let's say 58 times um 32 hours times 52, that's 96,000 per year, right? So, that's pretty that's pretty it's sub we're talking about sub six figs now, right? Um so uh ban them troll says says uh Brian, I made you uh I made you to um mod so if you can mod like that'd be great really appreciate it. Re really appreciate you both man uh why is it decreasing and is that anywhere an annoying um i have no idea why pharmacy is kind of decreasing as well so uh pro by the way fyi probably going to stream for about 10 to 15 more minutes fyi so all that uh <laughs> unrelated question ufc 249 um Dude, I'm excited for that. Khabib and uh Khabib and uh Tony Ferguson. Can't wait, man. He's such an interesting dude, but it's all good, man. I, I want to see that fight, to be honest with you. It'll help people stay home. Um, so I did want to share COVID-19 and PPE. So I was looking at um this as well, and uh the the CDC actually has outlined uh guidelines for PPE and all that as well. So I thought this was really interesting, but people are kind of bitter about it. They're like, hey, what does this mean from a practical standpoint? I don't own any PPE and my store doesn't have any. Will CVS and Walgreens be forced to supply us with masks? And that's a problem, right? There's no repercussions for not really providing PPE for people as well, right? Um, but there is a supply shortage. Uh, basically, everyone, studies have shown that any type of face coverings reduce spread. You can order washable cloths on Etsy, or you can sell washable cloth masks uh, from paper or homemade paper towel masks. Isn't that so sad, guys? Like, dude, we've had to kind of resort to 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 washable cloth cloth uh, masks as well, right? And so it's it's really <laughs> that's that's the sad part, man. Um, so people are all all talking about. Hey, can you build your employer? On a recent conference, my DM said pharmacy teams should not wear gloves or face masks uh, to avoid negative appearances. I really think like, you know, it's like this is why you have like, obviously it's a corporation. You can't control every single person in a typical corporation, but that's just bad management, right? That's horrible. Like <laughs> that shows you lack of empathy and all that and um it's it's crazy man like it's it's crazy this just has to hit the news and guess what media is going to be all over it. i hope media covers it probably won't um but you know if more people start dropping dead and they see streams like these where i i'm talking about stories like this right it's pretty evident that um places like cvs and corporations haven't been really doing their their because they always have a choice to sh not, I wouldn't say shut operations down, but definitely modify how the level of exposure to people as well. Right. So that's so f it's, it's not, that's not good for morale or anything like that. So interesting stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, do you think depending on our next president, can we avoid pharmacy, uh, loan debt specifically for pharmacy school? Uh, I don't, I don't think that's a real priority right now that, that people are thinking, right? Um, I like, I, and here's the thing too, like based off our scope of practice for pharmacy, we have a saturation of pharmacists at the moment, um, which, you know, in turn, I think this will be great. By the way, Brian, your, your state just approved, uh, I'm not sure if you've been keeping up with my streams, but uh florida passed in florida uh basically pharmacists were allowed to treat 
physicians, patients for chronic illnesses and stuff. So it's like this was this didn't happen at the same time, but it was a very it's very interesting. This might actually um, this might actually open up a whole new industry for pharmacists being potentially practitioners as well, which is a good thing. Right. Um, but reimbursements are the number one thing that everybody's thinking as well. Right. Um, let's see. <clears throat> um, taste says not complaining about my pay right now. Have you ever, uh, already read slash watched about the coronavirus virus autopsies? It seems like to be a, a real mess up your lungs for a long time. No, I have not. Randy Flores, I thought only Bernie Sanders wanted to forgive all student debt. I don't want to keep mentioning the money, but was the 70 and 90 K for a pharmacy manager position in one sense. It's why'd you stop pharmacy main reason. Cheers boss. Um, Robert in, in a short, short thing was that it was not making me happy. I felt fucking poor. I mean, I, I essentially in pharmacy, I didn't really have that many options, right? It's like situations like these that kind of highlight the lack of options that you have as a pharmacist. You're in a lot of debt and you don't know a way out. <laughs> There's like, you're stuck with tons of debt. And it wasn't fulfilling for me anymore. It wasn't challenging for me. Uh, I didn't feel like I was making a real impact. Um, I felt trapped a lot of time. Um, and I wasn't, I wasn't really growing to be honest with you. That's kind of what it was. I felt stuck in the pharmacy, which isn't good. You know, I just didn't feel like I was taken care of, you know, good leadership. You always feel like you're being taken care of. Uh, like I've been with really great, management really shit management great managers great um leaders will always take care of you i never felt that at any of the companies i was with not even at an independent to be honest with you and i just just hated it man i just didn't like the way how how old school our our health care system was right like i'm i really love technology i really love process right um but we weren't really growing that much and i just felt stuck um based off the current skill set compared to business it's it's such a such a change of uh breath or it's a breath of fresh air can you imagine what it'd be like if you ended up with a commission corpse oh man yeah for all that don't know i was actually very close to um um doing the um public health service the united states public health service right and so there's deployment um actually i was listening to this really great episode of tim ferris and he talks, he talks with the former surgeon general and talking about the actual public health services too, where they go on deployment, they go into needed areas and just serve. Right. And so it's going to be really interesting lawsuit for sure. Let's go. Definitely. Anybody, I would not be surprised if CVS or any of these companies got sued for not providing equipment or continuing operations. All it takes is just for a few people to die, few angry families. Um, it's going to happen. <sighs> I guarantee, like I'm pretty, I'm, pr I, I bet a lot of money on it. You know that they're gonna get sued one day. I'm worried for the health and safety for the fighters on 249. Uh, I can't find my phone. You're funny, man. <laughs> they're really in close proximity and sweating and bleeding on each other. I can't. Hey, another stream during work. Good to catch it, Brian. Thank you to you and Kevin for your content. I enjoy both your work. Thank you, man. I really appreciate. Like I really appreciate you guys um, watching my content, especially more recently because. I've been kind of avoiding talking about pharmacy uh, for a while, you know, just because um, I kind of got burnt out from it. I didn't feel like it was a good solution for a lot of people. So if you're ever, if you guys are ever wondering like why I don't talk about pharmacy as much is because I feel like it's uh, people are setting themselves up for a, a potential prison. Some people love it. There's no, I mean, people, if you find something that you love to do, that's great. But here's the truth. A lot of people just feel trapped in pharmacy. And I, I really wanted to kind of figure something out to help more and more people as well. Right. So, um, Brian MVP. Thanks Jayhawk farm. Love to the mother Kevin for inspiring me. Actually, we have that. We have that documented, uh, where me and Brian, we have our first interview, uh, online. And, and I was like, Brian, you should really start up your YouTube channel. And that's why I think, uh, you know, it's really interesting, like the more accountability that we can put on these companies as well about the truths about pharmacy, what happens on the real inside, I think the better. 
right um that's some, one of the powers about reddit because that's the legit truth coming out people are concerned people are pissed off people feel this frustration and crucify me you can whatever i don't know what they're going to do to me i'm just reporting what i'm saying right but i don't work for them so they can't fire me right <laughs> so which does happen by the way you gotta be very very careful by the way if you are um doing any sort of social media youtube anything like that and you are working for a pharmacy uh for a pharmacy type of thing um they could get rid of you for um misconduct by the way by the way um you know not all is doom and gloom too somebody got a shout out thank you pharmacy workers uh from this uh from this intercontinental uh houston medical center so interesting stuff um so more more about those more more stuff in here as well um people uh i guess like after so i was reading this reddit forum right now and um it's really it's really sad people are really getting terrified about this i really hope like i I'm not saying i hope that not saying like i really hope this kind of brings up more more awareness of what what happens right um and that's why i'm saying like you know what cvs did by giving some sort of um uh because they have a lot of employees right giving giving back it to its workers something is better than nothing but it's still like brings up that conversation well what is fair what is fair to be uh what is fair to give back to these healthcare providers as well so interesting stuff um let's see uh infection control cdc i'm gonna skip over that that's not really fun stuff um let's see i was gonna do another uh okay great cool so that's pretty much all, all the articles we're at 56 so i can stream for about four more minutes by the way um let's see do you invest uh about do you invest or thought about investing in promoting your YouTube channel like paid ads? Um, I haven't really looked into paid ads and stuff like that. I prefer organic growth at this point. Right. Um, really, I've been taking a break from YouTube and whatnot and just really refocusing where I want to double down. And one of the things that I want to double down on is helping people like pharmacists create another stream of revenue just to to make sure that I think it'll help free up more jobs and be more of a fuck you to a lot of these bigger companies knowing that people have options but not everybody's uh wants to be an entrepreneur wants to quit their job I'm not asking people to do that and do it i just want people to feel confident knowing that they aren't tied to their job that they can make ends meet by providing a service-based business so um if i get 1200 check uh my with my 218 tax return will they will they get back later for 2020 tax return um, yeah, so they're giving they're from what I read is they're saying that you should really get your tax return in so you can get that uh, UBI, I guess. Right. Um, why don't you work as a pharmacist? I just covered that L. Um, so you can catch out on the live stream. Basically, I hated it. If you go watch like uh, why I quit pharmacy, all that sort of stuff. Like I've talked about it pretty, pretty in depth. Uh, do you invest throughout? Um, oh, sorry. I've been a. Uh, pharmacist for like 1.5 years now not now so far so good can't say the same for my friends though uh do you think you'll return as a pharmacist in the next few years says robert i would rather fucking commit sebuku than go back to pharmacy honestly uh i don't ever foresee myself going back to pharmacy not in a traditional sense uh michael says hi kevin what's going on yeah i fall in the loves the retail game category but i acknowledge the trap feeling also peace until the next stream i only watch you for pharmacy but like listening to your other content that's awesome um what is cvs giving their employees they're giving pay leave and all that sort of stuff to um covered it in two videos ago paid leave for uh paid leave for 14 weeks they're also um giving 500 bucks and they're also uh what's the last thing there's a few things that they're giving but um yeah that's pretty much it and they're hiring a bunch of people <laughs> danny says alcohol wipes <laughs> yeah if only if only they gave alcohol and alcohol wipes to the pharmacist right so still letting people uh work in while in dangerous conditions when do we get ama about abgs for 30 minutes <laughs> says armor ghost so funny <laughs> i second uh armor ghost uh comment says brian funk 
<laughs> that's great guys okay so um pretty much covered everything that i wanted to on the stream um if you can make sure to like uh comment subscribe to this video uh to my channel make sure to hit the like button so it gets so this gets spread out i'm going to optimize the seo for this particular stream as well so um hopefully it'll get ranked hopefully it'll get in the media and stuff like that but i'm going to take the time to really optimize this video later and i'm going to do a um a separate uh video most likely on this situ particular situation i'm a tech at cvs and didn't get 500 what the hell it's i think it's 50 to 500 bucks after clubbing with um kevin a few times that dude has got some game i wish bro <laughs> anyways guys i will talk to you later uh stay safe guys and if there's anything i can do please hit me up i'll talk to you guys later take care y'all peace